WEMS. Today is Friday, October 7th. I'm Emma from Homeroom 323. And I'm Abby from Homeroom 311. Students, please stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, please be seated for 15 seconds of silence. On Monday, we don't have school in observance of Indigenous Peoples Day. Let's turn it over to Senora Zaski. Indigenous Peoples Day is celebrated on the second Monday of October. This year, it falls on October 10th. It honors the cultures and histories of the Native American people. The day is centered around reflecting on their tribal roots and communities. Year by year, the movement to change Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day spreads across more cities, states, and towns across the country. Indigenous Peoples Day celebrates, recognizes, and honors the beautiful traditions and cultures of the Indigenous people, not just in America, but around the world. Thank you for sharing, Senor Zaski. Come and see the first concert of the year on Wednesday, October 12th, featuring the incredible incredible symphonic and jazz bands. The concert will be at 7 p.m. in the NPR and will feature many styles of music. The bands are doing an amazing job only after a few months of rehearsal. Admission is free, donations are accepted. We hope to see you there. Halloween is in the air and our PTO is working hard on planning the sixth grade boo bash. Check out this spooky prom video made by eighth grader Anna W. Lots of fun. Next week, the public librarians are coming to book talk the Rebecca Condil nominees. Let's find out more. Hey, Emerson Eagles. The LRC is participating in the Rebecca Cottle vote again this year. Who is Rebecca Cottle? She was a talented writer from Urbana, Illinois. So talented, in fact, that there's now an Illinois Book Award in her name that only students in grades 4 through 8 can participate in. You can participate in the vote by reading three or more of the books on the Cotta list before the end of February. Only students get to vote to make their voice heard. Not even teachers or librarians can vote. There are 20 great titles to choose from and we're happy to make recommendations. On my virtual library page, I have links to the reading list, library catalogs to find books, the virtual reading log, and slides for each book, which includes a description and a book trailer. Keep track of your reading because we have prizes for all students who participate. Submit a response in the digital reading log to let me know when you finished a book. All of the links you need to participate are shared with your language arts teacher in Schoology. Can't wait to hear about these books. Now let's turn it over to Alexander for this weekend's weather report. Thanks, Emma. Today calls for showers in the morning with some clear skies in the afternoon. We will have a high of 54 and a low of 36. Tomorrow is going to be sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 41. The temperature will go back up on Sunday with a high of 67 and a low of 47. Today is National Kids Music Day. Did you know that Kids Music Day was started in the United States and spread to different parts of Canada? Back to you in the newsroom, Emma and Abby. Thanks, Alexander. My shout-outs go to Mr. Neil Homeroom and Ms. Newen Homeroom. And my shout-outs go to Ms. Collins Homeroom and Ms. Winnett's Homeroom. Remember, Eagles, we are...